Welcome to an adventure during the Let's Go event that I actually think is pretty awesome. I have a good feeling about today. And listen, we got clear skies, so we're gonna go ahead and pop our daily incense right now for the first time during this Let's Go event. I actually was not able to pop it yesterday, which I was sad about. If you guys haven't seen that last adventure, go check it out, but it was absolutely pouring all day and I didn't get a chance to pop the daily, but we can pop it now for the first time during this Let's Go event. Here we go, or Let's Go, I should say. Bada bing, bada boom. First spawn is a Tim Pole, not shiny. Second spawn, Rock and Roll, I know. Could be Ditto though. Let's see. It it is a ditto, ladies and gentlemen. Is it a shiny one? No, that'd be crazy. I still don't think I've ever actually seen a shiny ditto pop up on my screen like that. I don't know, I don't remember, I don't know. It's been a really, really long time, but okay, let's keep it moving. Wow, this incense is gonna be even spicier because we have the opportunity not only to get the Pokemon shiny on their own, but to get the ditto. And another Rock and Roller, hold on, we have two, uh, oh my gosh, what the heck is that? Uh, the Hisui and Quillfish, we have two seven kilometer eggs out of nowhere and a Galarian mouth. Wait a minute, wait a minute, yes, we did miss out. So we have a not shiny Rock and Roller, but it could be ditto. And it's not a ditto, okay. Great opportunity though, and another one. This is kind of like a two for one, dude, because if it's not a shiny rock and roller, it could be a shiny ditto. So that's uh, that's like extra spawns, I guess. Is this one? Nope, that's not gonna be ditto either. I guess that also means double the disappointment. Oh my gosh, yo, not on the daily incense, live shiny trubbish. No way, <laughs> I said double the disappointment, I got a shiny trubbish. Let's go. Yo, this is a really rare shiny. I love this shiny too. It's like a nice black shiny, which you do not see off Often at all shiny trubbish one star not on the daily man I told you guys I had a good feeling about this event and gosh darn it oh my gosh you gotta love a wild shiny on the incense well while the incense is on yes and not a back-to-back -back shiny trubbish right there but we have a nose pass that's not a nose pass I said we have a nose pass okay I said we have a nose pass we're not gonna click the nose pass I take it back we did not shiny and it looks like another rock and roll uh, no and here's another event spawn a Pole. This is actually a kind of a rare shiny. I need this one. I don't have many of them, I don't think. Oh no, we have a Trubbish on the incense, but we're interrupted by two 12 kilometer eggs. I guess I'll take these two. Not shiny Larvitar. Great hatch though, great opportunity. And I'm gonna rush this second one. Pancham. We will check IBs on those later. Trubbish, not shiny. And it looks like we got a Grimer on the incense. All right. And a Patch Rat, could have been shiny. And another Grimer on the incense. No. Okay, this is getting annoying. Another Grimer. <laughs> okay, this spawn kind of scared me. We got a Tauros. I don't have that shiny no and another rock and roll no and another rock and roll not shiny and another rock and roll not shiny oh my gosh just like a rock and roll and a grimer incense huh oh a sneasel dude that's a boosted shiny man i still have never got that on the incense i've definitely seen it a good amount of times and i thought i'd get it by now and a diglet spawn why oh cacnea i'm wearing an orange sweater dude that would have been a crazy shiny right now and ladies and gentlemen we have five seconds left can we get one more spawn please please Come on. No. Oh, wait. Pan, whatever. We actually got to catch this for the collection challenge. We want to grab that. And that'll do it. 21 Pokemon on the incense. Six Raga and Rola is crazy. But uh, that was really fun. And the Ditto and the Sneasel, I'm down. Plus, of course, the off incense shiny Trubbish was crazy. Let's go with an IV check here. Ditto from earlier. The Ditto on the incense. Snubble, three star. Okay, a great start to the event so far. We got the Meowth. We got the Quillfish from the eggs. Oh, yeah, we did hatch some eggs along the way, too. There's that shiny trubbish one star 11 4 14 wow we will check out that trubbish family in a second another ditto we got two ditto i don't know nose pass rock and roller tangela rock and roller tim pole come on ivies come on ivies pancham larvitar both not great that was a 98 trubbish on the incense that's one of the best ivies actually that is the best IV i've ever got from an incense ever that's awesome grimer rock and roller patch rat rock and roll again and that's probably gonna be it unless we get a little surprise here at the end, and we do not. Man, a couple ditto right there, a little trubbish, a 98 trubbish too. That was pretty awesome. I told you guys I had a good feeling about this event, and that is, that's pretty special. We got pretty lucky right there. So looking at our all-time family, we now have three shiny trubbish all time. So nice, we have one to trade away, which is huge for me. I'm happy about that. We can also incubate some eggs here. It looks like we have a bunch to incubate. Uh, I'm gonna wait till I get one more 12 kilometer. Actually, to be honest, I don't know if there's any rocket leaders around here. Kind of, but not really. So in that case, let's go ahead and incubate these anyway. Let's get some 12s going. That'll probably hatch in the next time, or in the next adventure, I should say. But uh, wow, that was solid, dude. GG's. And now that we got that done, we can actually move on with the field research breakthrough. 3,000 dust, a Sinnoh stone, and some XP. Give me all of that, and a Gumi encounter. I'm pretty sure this already spawns at the event, so it's not like the craziest spawn ever, but I'll take it. Yes, it definitely spawns at the event. Also, Corefish is spawning, and that is a really rare shiny I would love to get. I don't have that. 
best believe I'm clicking on every single one of them. And that's kind of why I wore this bright orange sweater looking like John Cena right now. I was trying to lure in some shiny core fish. I've checked on a bunch of them today. No shinies yet. Also Lit Leo, a shiny I don't have. That'll be a hunt for me for sure. Never mind. It just ran on me, so never mind. And wait a second, we have a ditto, ditto, ditto. Not oh, shiny. Oh my gosh. Down goes that ditto right there. 52 CP. Okay, nothing there. Cool. We got a couple of shiny checks here, a little core fish action. This rock and roll it can be ditto as well. Let's grab that. Was it a ditto? It indeed was a ditto. I should have waited. 75 CP. But since we got a research breakthrough done, we actually did a research task, which is the bottom one right there. It was to catch three ditto and it's a pan sage. So now for our collection challenge, we just need to catch a pan, uh, pan seer. Right? Yeah, Pansier. We gotta catch a Pansier, which I believe there was one over here when I got here. So we're gonna go check that out. And there is one right there, a wild Pansier. Let's go ahead and grab this, and that'll help us finish up the collection challenge. Down it goes. Collection challenge should be all good. 408, shout out the bay. Let's go over. Bada bing, bada boom. 5,000 XP and an encounter reward. I'm gonna guess, uh, hmm. I'm gonna guess a Melton. I think that's a good guess. Man, you boys. <sighs> Come on. I didn't look it up, I promise. I didn't even find out on online. Nobody told me. That was just a really good guess. Now, this is an important catch. If you guys haven't seen The Last Adventure again, go check it out. But I hatched, or I did a mystery box, and I did not get a shiny Melton, but I also did not get a Hundo Melton. I almost bit my phone. I've been hunting for Hundo Melton for a really long time. I literally have caught over 1,800 of them, or 1,600 of them, and I really want a Hundo Melton. I've done trades, lucky trades. Haven't been able to make it happen. To be fair, I guess I could have grinded way harder because Melton boxes have been around for years, but I really want that hundo, so we're gonna go for it. Speaking of melting boxes, I know they added a cooldown. Wait, what? I have to wait five hours? Okay, so it's, a. Uh, that's crazy. That is crazy. So part of this event is you can pop a melting box every 24 hours as opposed to every three days, which is huge. But uh, if I want to be quicker, it costs pokey coins to do it. And you know, wow, I hate this. I've never done this before. I've never even seen this. This is like the first time they've ever, is this like the first time they've ever done something like this? This is like a very Clash of Clans mobile game thing to do is to charge actual money to make things faster. I mean, technically they do that with like super incubators already, but this is a little bit different. This is literally to save time. And you know what? Gosh darn it, I'm gonna do it for the content. I'm gonna do it, for, what? Hold on. Okay, hold on. Let, let me just send a, a ditto over there for fun. That should work. I just spent 150 coins. I just spent 150 coins. Transport? Yeah? Please open Pokemon Home. Oh, whoops. Okay, Pokemon Home. Loading in. Getting my data. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, Pokemon Home. View transferred Pokemon. Rayquaza. This is the Rayquaza from yesterday, actually. But let's go ahead and receive that. Bada bing. Bada boom. Okay, are we done? Heading back over to Pokemon Go. Transport. Is that going to work this time? It sure did. Okay, the ditto is over there. Okay, it worked. I sent the ditto, but I didn't get the mystery box notification. I, I don't have one. Hold on, dude. I just paid for that. Now it's saying six hours until charge and it's going to cost me 31 more coins. Did it already take the 150 from earlier? I'm going to have to go back in this video and find out. Did I just get robbed <laughs> on camera? Did I just get robbed in broad daylight by Niantic? Hold on. Transfer over the ditto. Please open Pokemon Home to finish your transaction. Okay. There's the ditto we just sent over or maybe it's the one from earlier. I don't know. You received the Pokemon. Cool. So now we should be able to transport this over and I should get a mystery box or I am filing a complaint. And as you can see here, the mystery box access is still at two days. Uh, let me see one more time. Dude, now it's charging me again. I'm gonna restart my game. I did not just get charged like 200 coins for nothing to happen right there. No, 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 no. I did not just get robbed by Niantic live on camera. I will send a fat invoice of 200 coins if that didn't work, dude. No way. It's still telling me two days. I'm gonna try to figure this out. If not, we got a big issue. All right, dude. Well, I just restarted my phone. I just restarted Pokemon Go or Pokemon Home. I just sent over that Melton we just caught and I am pretty sure just got robbed. Cool, live on camera. Uh, I will be sending a 200 coin invoice to Niantic, a $2 invoice to Niantic for absolutely robbing me on camera. That was not fun. I don't understand why that didn't work. What the heck? I just lost 200 coins for no reason. I mean, I'm not like really upset about it, but that's unfortunate. I wanted to pop a mystery box today. I spent the coins and now I just don't get to do anything with them. Cool. I mean, I'm not super upset about it, but I just spent 200 coins for no reason, like literally no reason. And it just did not work. So that's very unfortunate. I would like a refund or something like that. That is not fun, bro. I will update you guys later if this ends up working, but I restarted my phone. I restarted the game. I restarted home. I've sent and transported three different times. I've spent like that dollar coin or whatever, just to see if that was like a little glitch or something. It's just not working. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit annoying. It's not a lot of money, but like, what the heck was that for? Don't put that in the game. It's not going to work, you know? And all technicality, I could still pop one in an hour, but I just spent all that coin to pop it now and I can't. So, Nice. Anyways, moving on. We've already got a shiny 
watching this video, but let's make this video even spicier with a shiny evolution. We're gonna be evolving shiny Porygon, dude. I forgot this was shiny. Like, I feel like this community day was in 2020. That was almost three years ago, and it's a very forgotten about shiny. It's got great colors on the whole shiny family. It's got a really cool shiny family as well. Everybody loves Porygon, super OG, and it's got some really cool colors. So let's go ahead and do this evolution all the way through. I forgot what the requirements are to evolve it to Porygon Z, though, because this is Porygon 2, correct? Yeah, this is Porygon 2. How do you get to Porygon Z? Oh, you just use a Unova Stone. Okay, cool. Well, let's go ahead and evolve it to Porygon Z, which, by the way, I think Porygon Z is one of the worst Pokemon ever because, like, from 1 to 2, it's kind of cool, but then from 2 to Z, it's like the same Pokemon. It's just, like, move. he just moved his arms or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, that looks exactly the same, except for its eyes. I don't know. Yeah, definitely one of their lazier jobs, but it's okay. <laughs> shiny Porygon Z has still got some cool colors on it. GG's 2154. I'm sure this is a really rare shiny for a lot of you guys that didn't play around this time, so nice. Awesome. Also, if you guys haven't seen The Last Adventure, we moved on with the Masterwork Research one stage oh no oh no it's starting to rain it's drizzling it is drizzling okay we gotta hurry up here uh we're on stage three of the research we have spun a stop two days in a row i've yet to see a single kecleon but kecleons are hard to find dude i don't know what you guys they're not everywhere they're not actually they're not anywhere <laughs> not counting the day it came out and the hoenn tour i've probably never seen more than 10 in my life and i play this game every day and i spend hundreds of not thousands of stops a week pretty crazy how hard it is to find so finding five of them might take a second also it's really raining okay hold on today is wednesday and we do have thunderous raid hour and i have yet to snag a shiny of that pokemon since its return so we're gonna be hunting that if we get any shinies you guys are about to see them actually why wait till raid hour we just got shiny thunderous 23 29 cp i don't know the hundo this could be a shundo for all i know to be honest 23 29 shiny thunderous on raid number four of its comeback love to see that as soon as i get home we get a shiny thunderous raid bada bing bada boom down it goes 23 29 oh 10 15 12 not gonna be a good one but it's a shiny thunderous i'm glad i was able to secure one a great start to the event so far super super good you'd love to see that shiny three star heck yeah sorry let's make that back to back 2360 shiny thunderous i just golden raspberry i meant to pineapple back to back thunderous raids ladies and gentlemen gave me that great right there wow i will take that was not expecting that at all down that goes right there for some reason my game is being super glitchy i better not lose this too i've already got i've already got robbed in today's video let's not get robbed of a shiny legendary here i don't want to restart my phone and i feel like it's making me restart my phone right now and i really don't want to do that oh what the heck was that what the heck just happened what oh uh, hello okay we got it we got it we got it 2360 shiny thunderous bada bing bada boom 13 14 14 shiny thunderous right there back to back wow the luck is off the charts let me pull up that journal to prove it to you guys come on journal dude what's going on as you can see thunderous raids back to back shinies yes sir that is awesome this event has been amazing for me so far dude let's go hopefully you guys just watched me get some shiny thunderous if not definitely took an l whatever cool but we had an amazing time today i told you guys i had a good feeling about this event the shiny full odds or full odds trubbish i don't know if it's full odds or not hopefully you guys just saw some shiny action or something cool at least if not ggs whatever but we had a great time today like i said i had a good feeling about this event we got that shiny trubbish which was awesome let's keep it up i'm excited to hunt again tomorrow